What is up, our maniacs? For us? Here we're back in the world of Death Stranding, picking up where we left off from the stream the other day. I mean, today I'm fucking hooked on this game. Can't stop playing it. Don't judge. Or judge. Don't really care. I'm happy. Me the dick. Uh oh, dreams are back. Can I help you? Holy shit, John. Is that you? What are you doing here? My wife's checked in. I don't want to repeat it last year. <sighs> That's Di- uh, Di Hardman. I didn't know you were that. That's Di Hardman. Before the mask. Shit. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Holy crap. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridge. Sam, the west side of that region is covered by a massive tar belt. Beyond it is Edgenot City, the last bastion of civilization you'll find that far out. It's your final destination. Oh, shit. Once you use the Cupid to connect it, the Cairo network will span the entire continent. The rebirth of America is so close. And remember, that's where Amelie is being held captive. We need you to bring her home safely. Holy shit, we're on like the but last little bit. Across the tar belt, there's one more knot we need you to tie. Hartman will help you get it done. Ah. Sam, I'd like for you to bring me a few things. First, the dog tags you took from that soldier. Tuck them away in a pocket so you don't misplace them. He's Second, a dick. Mama's corpse. Her, her body shows no signs of necrosis, and I, for one, would like very much to know the reason why. You're Most disgusting. The real information that could prove instrumental in helping us to overcome the death stranding. Suffice it to say, one minute remaining. I don't have much time. See to your preparations. I'll be waiting. You'll find an official order on the terminal. No way she gives up her sister's corpse. No way! Are you kidding me? She's gonna give up her sister's corpse. I'll definitely not give up my sister's corpse to a creepy dude like this dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, yeah, I don't even know what that shit is. We ain't doing that. Okay, yeah, that one's fine. All right, we'll go do that. Um, I'd like another one of these. Do I have my gun still? I guess we've... I don't know what we have, so we're gonna make a couple of these. And then I need four armor plates. Okay, let's let's grab the stuff out of our, our thing and then we'll redo our gear. Because I, I don't know how bad our gear is. So just load it all. There we go. Uh, confirm. That's fine. Head out. Sure. I cannot believe they're, she's just gonna let me take her corpse. All right, Sam. Take care of her. And don't worry, she won't go necro. Malingan's special. Be funny if these Havars ended up being the key to saving us all. Baby. <laughs> Are you just gonna flip her over on your back? Wait, where the fuck? Where? where oh! Okay. Motherfucker! <sighs> I forgot. Since we're carrying a body, it changes everything. 
So you hang on to a rack. You attach the suit. That's fine. You can't carry by hand. Okay. Right hand. You attach the suit. Don't care. Okay, I have bridges boots level three. Confirm. All right. Carry him. All right, now she's on. And you can see that's on the back there too. Okay. So I need to activate this terminal real quick. Let's go to private locker. Okay. So... Wow, these are really beat up. Equip. Power gloves. Equip. Uh, let's see. Do I have the, do I have the extended blood bags? Utility pouch. Uh, what else? Grenades. We need hermetic grenades. Pretty sure if we rest, we can't rest. Fuck. All right, so we're, we're literally going out with fucking jacked gear. Have a pleasant journey. Have a pleasant journey. Eat a dick. All right, so where is this? That's really not that bad, actually. Okay. Oh, oh. Are you kidding me? I'm literally holding both mouse buttons and like he just can't keep it together. Alright, um... I know I saw one up there. Alright, hit this. And I think this will lead me to the next one. It will. Damn, that's like it. Fuck, I can't even imagine climbing this thing. No fucking thank you. Shit. Uh, what? Hang on, let me hit this. No, we went off here. Thank you. She's gonna be... We need to get on the other side of this. Ah. Uh, basically, we can't climb? Do I need to... Okay, we can't climb this. Alright. That actually looks pretty climbable to me, but alright, fair enough. What do I know? There we go. That's not bad. That's not a bad walk at all. Although... Okay, that that's not bad at all. Oh, I really do not want to hear the music. I'm sorry. I'm going to continue to talk over the music this whole way. Because Nevado music definitely copyright claims their music. I don't know why they included it in the thing and then decided to copyright claim it. Seems a little bit of a dick move to me. But it is what it is. Get me off this stupid thing. 
I don't want to hear the stupid music anymore. Let's go. Hoof it. Make some more background noise. Come on. Climb it. It's not that hard. It's just stairs, you fucker. God. Oh my god. I'm gonna get a copyright claim because this guy can't climb stairs. I will say this is a really cool platform, though. And this is a really fancy looking house I wouldn't mind having. Just really odd to have it like this. This is very ritzy. Out in the middle of fucking nowhere. What the hell? I don't get it. Alright, deliver requested cargo. There you go. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. It was immaculate. I don't need you to tell me that. He's not even going to talk to us? Seems odd. I don't understand why he's not talking to us. What the fuck? pad but either looks like a heart or a pair of balls I'm not sure which please proceed into the facility with a cadaver Good yeah that's not creepy at all rare fish the fuck? Reti resuscitation timer remaining. What? <laughs> what in the fuck is going on? Until resuscitation time remaining. 60 seconds. Oh, I'd be fucking his, his... What the fuck? Dude, these boots would be jacking that carpet up something terrible. What the fuck? This is creepy shit, dude. Okay. Wait, his heart's dead? Heart, man. Administering shock. Stand clear. What the fuck? Is he killing himself so he can go to the other side? Cause that's fucking dangerous. Well, you certainly caught me with my pants down. Glad you could make it, Sam. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah. Please, lay her down there. Still no sign of them. You know your 
your heart stops beating? It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach, and then return. 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. Holy fuck! 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. The amount of damage so, to his heart and his- traveled to and from the seam an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. <laughs> No, there's no way his heart could handle that. I'm sorry. I see myself in that crater, my wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. Or your balls. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart bent heart shaped heart? <laughs> No, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea. That the beach is real, and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest. Three minutes at a time. And search for them. Day after day after day. Oh, so you could say goodbye? Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying. Spending eternity alone. Yeah, no which shit. Which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. Why well, are you going to stay dead? If death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. I don't shake hands. A body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. She is still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? Ah, found it. Behold. Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Yes. A body that doesn't necrotize, and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others, as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if you found them. Every visit raises new questions. I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally the souls of the dead move on. 
The beach is just a corridor, a place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, um, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach, a collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? Ensure you are in a stable position. I don't know. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the scene. Rest assured, it'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one. This doesn't make any sense to me, though. Because his heart... Basically, what he said is he was doing stuff to this to him manually. But the problem with that is... Your body can't do that. Like, at a certain point in time, like you said, your heart's going to take damage. And that damage is going to happen a lot quicker than he made it sound. I mean, it's, it's not one of those things that, like, you can just do. I mean, it's... You'd be fucking your heart really fast. And you, you won't, your heart eventually just won't come back. I mean, that's the other thing is when every time you stop a heart, it might not come back. Fucking ridiculous. Not to mention, this is creepy as fuck. And, and why does she have to be naked? Why do we have to give the naked girl to the creepy guy? It just doesn't seem right to me. And the security measures also don't make sense. Why were the security measures active now, but not earlier? You leave the door open specifically for me to come in? I mean, I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me. Anything else I've missed? Oh. Almost done. It'd be very awkward and uncomfortable if he doesn't come back to life. Uh Oh. Hello. A whale skeleton. Fair enough. Oh. I think that's everything.
No luck. Not to mention. Sleep. Oh, sorry. Sleep alone we? would drive this man insane. I may be used to the 21 minute cycle, but for a first time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation, ablution, attrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one. Yeah. Um, intercourse, I suppose. Verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. All from before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> but honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> this dude is creepy. As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident, too. I was in the ICU having heart surgery, out of town, in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void outs. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power. And my life support. I woke up on the beach. People who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Please, don't go! Wow. The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart, but it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. 
I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny, though. Even when my heart stops, the pain lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning, one that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Armely proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period, <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three hmm. minutes to cardiac arrest. Oh, shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. A new station. Much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching death. Oh, that's why everything's soft. <laughs> Don't worry about him, Sam. The air meant to absorb the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. Oh my god. Fucking creepy, man. I like it. Look, 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 look. That's awesome. He steps off. He's <laughs> fucking shit, man. Dude's creepy as fuck. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Sam, you heard it. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal. What the hell, man? That dude, creepy as hell. Our ultimate objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the tar. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edgenot City. And that means connecting this region first. Dude, we've connected the fuck out of this region. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. Oh my the god. For the Evo-Devo biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. The Evo-Devo biologist? delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, 
Come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. Shit. Can I rest here or? No, I cannot. All right, and then my private locker doesn't have anything in it, and I can't rest here, which is bullshit. Um. All right. What the hell? Orders for Sam. We'll see the standard bots first. Uh. Sure. Run it. Dude, I legit can't skip this. That's new. I can always skip these. Okay. Oh my god, that's a nightmare. Alright, forget. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're making me carry another antimatter bomb? A geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So, we need you to bring him some Chirelium scrubbing agents. Administering shock. Stand clear. The strata the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period. The time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. Okay, I'll go right now. One more thing, Sam. For this run, you'll be transporting an antimatter bomb. Yay! Bridges paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. <laughs> Apparently, the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar, and the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. No! Now, hopefully, I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling high-yield explosives. But in case I do, make sure you keep that container in one piece, no matter what. Okay, okay. Let me get this straight. This dude needs to pad. indispensable gear for cold weather operations, especially useful when traversing snow capped mountains. This guy needs to get to fossils. They're located under tar and he wants to use an antimatter bomb to do that. That is the stupidest fucking thing I have ever heard. Fuck it, why not? Oh my god. Just the absolute fucking sheer insanity. Uh. Sam, I'm sure you haven't forgotten. But you need to be extremely careful with that antimatter bomb. Any yeah. irregular? I'm gonna build a couple more of those. I didn't realize that's how they fit, but since they fit that way, I'm gonna get three more.
Okay. Let's do a quick check. Make sure everything else looks good. It does. Sam. So, Hartman told you all about the lake. How the attack that created it changed his life forever. Not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. Oh, it sounds like he's batshit crazy. Minutes, he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his doom's ability seemed to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. Yeah, he's fucking crazy. Out of his god dang fucking mind. My apologies, Sam. You came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. It should come as no surprise that BTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab. Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCoy. <laughs> yeah. That's one way to put it. Oh, man. Unfortunately, none of this is on the chiral network. But we could easily set up... Oh, that's perfect. We could... Whoop, 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 whoop. We could easily set up something like a, a zipline network here, though, because it's very linear. We just put one right there on top of that. And, like, on top of that. And then we're good. The problem we'll run into. Shit. Uh, 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 turn right, dude. Turn. Fuck me. The problem we're gonna run into is just simply. Fuck. Getting it all positioned. I, I don't even know if it's worth it, though. Probably not. We're not going that way. Want to or not, it'll just simply not happen. Okay, we will take this though. Do likes real quick? This one's for you. Oh wow, somebody tried to go around it? Wow, that's crazy, you know. I, I think over will be fine. If it'll work. I'm not sure if it's high enough. It looks high enough. Uh. Here we go. Motherfuck, dude, that's a. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, I'd really rather not have. A fucking avalanche, if we can help it. Oh my god. Holy shit. Dude, this is insane. Don't start falling. It's all passable. We're good. Up here, though, is what I'm worried about. It does not look very passable up here. Well, we're really gonna run into problems 
is if uh Oh shit, what's loose? Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I know it's all damage, there's not much I can much I can do about that. Go, rip, and move. This should all be yellow still, okay. Trying to go at an angle. I don't think I can climb that up there. If we keep going at an angle like this, pretty sure up here we're good. That's all red. Oof. Really? Stop. Oh, we're dead. Well, that was unfortunate. That's one way to stop a... Uh... Oh, that's nice of them. It took us back here to... Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's an acceptable trip back. So, I think we're gonna go to the left. Well, there's a path that looks like it's right up there. I'm gonna try that path. Ooh. Right up here to the right. Stop. Drink. Yep, there it is. I'm my stamina now. It wasn't before. There we go. Okay, let's do this. System. Climb that. And we're good. Right. 
busy. Can't tell how close we are. Holy shit. Gotta be careful here. Can't fucking see anything. Let's move. Let me do a pull up and see. Okay, we're fine. Easy. Oh great, our skeleton broke. I think this is a very big fall here. I think I'm fixing to die. can't uh, move. I'm, it's literally controlling me now. I can't. Yeah, dead. Fucking dead. Oh, a bitch. Okay, now I can see this helps. Easy. Oh man, can we not do this now? way up there. It's up to my left. I don't know what all this is down here. This is fucking bullshit, man. Change the difficulty setting. Eat my fucking ass. Not happening. <sighs> 
See, it looks like he's right down there. See, if it would stop... If it would let you see your objective without constantly removing it, and if it would... You don't need to do this every time. I mean, it was fun once or twice, but you don't have to keep... You don't have to keep doing the whole, you know, you know, thing and zooming in and taking 15 seconds to show us, you know, where the bad guys are. We don't need that each time. I need to know where they are, and then I need to know, and you can do that just by having the thing come out. The thing can come out, start detecting, and it doesn't have to pull you away. Fucking everything is ruined. Can I even build anything out here right now? No, I can't. It literally won't let me do anything. This is literally as fast as I can move right now, by the way. Sorry, my wife got up scared the shit out of me. Yeah, we were up there earlier trying to come down, and that just doesn't work. Dude, I am on metal. I should not still be having this much trouble walking. Am I heading in the right direction? Oh my god. It looks like there's something up here in front of me. Am 
What is the... Oh, we're overweight. That's fine. We can fix that. Um... I mean... Eight, nine, ten pounds. We'll drop them. And then if it'll let me... Cancel. If it'll let me, we can drop the PCC. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to let me do much with it, so drop those. Uh, okay, I guess we'll just get rid of all these, too. I gotta keep one grenade. Because we lost the... We lost our... Uh, what do you call it? Our skeleton. Whoa! Can we please not blow ourselves up? Come on. This is ridiculous. I can't see shit. Let's look how close are we? One more map. It definitely looks like it's over a cliff of some kind up here. But I think what we'll do. I'm gonna stop here. Hit tab. Because, you know, there's only so much suffering I can handle. And then we'll just continue on with a new save. Definitely don't have to go up here. Whoop, 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 turn around. I can see it there at the end. I don't think I have to go over the mountain. Should be able to see it any second now. Dude, this has been tough. This is by far our toughest delivery yet. Hands down, and it's not even close. Fuck me, dude. Why are all these places so hard to get to? And I trip right there and blow myself up. That would have been hilarious and awful at the same time. Good yes. lord. Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. This dude better join the fucking chiral network. That's all I'm saying. Holy... Oh my god. Know how good a shape it's gonna be in. Sam Bridges. Oh, thank God for that. I was oh, worried you might 
might not get here in time. But then I've done nothing but worry of late. I've been haunted by those visions you doom sufferers see. That end of day stuff? I put the nightmares down to fatigue. The uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me. Uh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage. Law? It's not an option. My research is nowhere near complete. It's not just my life you're saving here. It's my life's work. I started to wonder if I'd ever see these meds. I guess you really are good at what you do, huh? Thank Thanks, you. Dick. I guess you really are good at what you do. Me. That was tough. Having white out the entire time definitely doesn't help. Hmm, B rating from the bot. Not bad. Not bad. Terrible <clears throat> condition, you'd now be harder for you to lose consciousness. Well, yay. That's fantastic. Oh, yes. Right then. <laughs> if you'd do the honors. So I'm going to have to go through BT territory to get to the other guy. Hands down. Ugh, it's gonna suck. Hey, BB. Hope this guy's got enough stuff to fabricate the equipment I need. I mean, for two. Well, that's good. I guess this is a pretty good distance closer. Uh, looks like at least a couple zip lines are up. Just like that, I'm part of the UCA, with access to a treasure trove of historical research materials. Studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier. It'd be hilarious now. if somebody had already Assuming figured his shit out. He's like, no! That's what it is. Honestly, though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits and strata dating back 65 and a half million years? Evidence of an ancient death stranding. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the Chirelian readings. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines, producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of corellium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just then. The chiral network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the chiral network, you've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You've furthered our individual research projects and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. Kept hoping he would just pass out again. New order of Thank God. Alright, activate. Recycle. How are the boots holding up? They're pretty fucked up. I might as well get two new boots. These guys will hold. Fabricates. 
Don't care about the anchor. I do need two blood bags to replace the ones we lost. I'd like one container repair just to kind of fix things. I need two bridges. All terrain skeleton. Power gloves. Uh, and I think that's. That ought to do it. Just a few things. Uh, why can't. Oh, yeah. Turn back. Put all. Boots. Put on footwear. Test boot clip. Prep active skeleton. Put on gloves. Place in grenade pouch. Place in grenade pouch. Okay, you can go on back in your garbage so you can just literally rot it. I don't give a fuck. Okay. I think we're good there. You're ridiculous. I, I, I'm doing it just to see if the bot can make it. Oh, I don't think the bot's gonna make it. I'm just saying. If that bot can make that, I will be fucking blown away. Okay, so... Here's what I'm looking for. Looks like some stuff was set up over here. To kind of, uh ease things but i do not see a oh my god the music um i don't see a what do you call them uh we're gonna go across here and charge i don't see any zip lines there we go we'll hit this to charge up and then i'll, I'll make a uh, pathway to the next area with this AM bomb wall. Okay. Secure. No, I want to get. I want to remove all markers. Okay. Hey. That means I don't have to go that way. There's a bunch of strands this way. I think they're more towards the right. They are to my lot or straight. But we may be able to get where we're going. Oh, wow. See? I don't know why you're waving me there. There's nothing there. Oh, fuck. down here. Oh, this is bad. Oh, we're good. Hey, zip line. Where does that... Like somebody was trying to make a zip line, but then didn't finish it. There's no ladder here. What are you talking about? Hmm. Fuck. I definitely should have brought some ropes. I just didn't think it was going to be this. We're dead. I honestly didn't think it was going to be that bad. Alright, we're going to get like six ropes. Fuck it now. Alright, please be back at the... Oh my god, it's before we bought all the gear and everything. Okay, that's fine. Alright, recycle everything we don't need. So, keeping those boots that include you. Recycle. Alright, confirm. 
skip. Alright, fabricate equipment. Make it five of you. Uh, I'll make three of you. Two of you. Need two of you. One of you. One of you. Okay. Ladder. Back. 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 Let's try this again. Let's press tab. Okay, now we don't have to worry about that. We're saved. We won't have to redo that again. Alright, and I have to sit here for just a minute and let my drink refill. You can see it's in the bottom left hand corner, and unfortunately I have to let this stupid thing do its music, which probably gonna get me uh, demonetized so speaking of being demonetized if you guys would like to support the channel there is a join button down there hit that for two bucks five bucks or ten bucks a month whichever you prefer you can uh, join the uh, the membership and uh, help contribute to the channel and you know help me buy video games equipment um, and caffeine so I can continue to do what I do if you'd like to because you know like I said this video is probably gonna get demonetized because the uh, people who make the music for this game seem to like to copyright claim uh, videos. So, I had a three hour Death Stranding video pop for 10 seconds worth of music. And uh, they won't remove the claim. So, awful, awful sweet of them. And then, uh, not only that, but they blocked it in Denmark. So, if you are one of my Denmark viewers, I. Uh, you can't watch that video. Uh, I mean, you can watch it on Twitch. You just can't watch it here, because apparently um, the, the, the Denmarkian people uh, might do something evil with the music. I don't know. I think it's quite possibly the dickiest thing you can do, but nobody asked me. What is this? Is this chiral? No. Uh, we're gonna move down this way. All right. I'm gonna go from here to there. Let's do it. Okay. First one. Guess that shroom down there. I really wish you could belay uh, and then repel. Whoops, whoops, whoops. They're climbing, even though I'm holding ass. Um, yeah, there, there, there's no way to like repel, and with repelling, you can get to the bottom of this a lot faster. Okay, am I stable here? Leave so. Okay, turning around. If my guy will... Other direction, please. Thank you. Alright. 
We're gonna move down here. how that dude managed to get down there. Dude, this is nasty fucking terrain. I can't tell how stable my guy is here. <sighs> Give me a break. I'm saying. Alright, this looks slightly more stable. I'm not. Nope, 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 nope. Release it here. Another 30 meters. Looks like this rock might be stable right here. left up oh my god I'm telling you what managing this is a nightmare because your character will not listen to what you want him to do because there's up there's down left and right and it also depends on where your character's facing so like me wanting to head in the direction my camera is looking at is also the direction to climb the rope yeah Oh god, please don't drop. Another one? And it's also impossible to tell if you are on terrain where your character can can handle it or not. Like, is this flat? Am I going to plummet to my death immediately upon letting go of this rope? No clue! But no big deal. I don't have an antimatter bomb attached to my fucking back or anything. No biggie. Uh. Yeah, I think we'll. No, 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 no. Right, right here, right, right here. Up. That looks good. Okay. I could probably get there without using another ro uh, rope, but I am scared because of this bomb. We're gonna place this here and then continue down. I'm being, oh wow, did you see me flying there? That was ridiculous. Oh wow, that's all quite a drop. Oh my God, please just drop. Go left, drop. Alright, I think. Release. I think we're good. Okay. I'm curious, where is that aiming for? Because I see nothing. For that to hit. I want to hit 
get this and then we'll, we'll move over. This looks like a great place to chill for a minute. All right, so while we're resting here, let's uh, go ahead and get up. Drink your drink. Okay, and then my stuff will refill while we're waiting here. Okay, so from here, go from here to there. I think it's just literally right, yep, pretty much right over the cliff. What I was thinking, I wonder how deep it goes. Shit, fuck, what are you doing? He just almost dove off the fucking thing. This is a waste of a dart, but I'm doing it anyway. Because we, we could probably just go around. That is a huge one. 89. All right, we see it down here. Oh my God. I am so glad I brought these. Because again, this terrain is perfectly manageable normally, but with this bomb on us, it's completely unmanageable. Because you never know if it's gonna just blow up or if you're, you know, it's a bump, no big deal. Alright, and then. Here, release. Oh boy. This we should be able to down. That's Chiral right there hiding. Look at that. Pick it up, please. The small one, I think. Yeah. Seven. Hardly worth picking up, but still. Fuck me. I love the change here, by the way. We go from snowy nightmare immediately to green. Really? No kidding. That was exactly my thoughts. Actually, hang on. Oh, did I not get the spray the second time around? I guess we didn't. Okay. Much appreciated, friend. Thanks to you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> Using an atom bomb. Nothing Sorry, antimatter bomb. You did it after all, though I can't for the life of me imagine how. Fucking ridiculous. This game is insane. The amount of damage an AM bomb would do is just stupid. This is fucking stupid. Damn right, an S rating. You're gonna be like five stars instantly for that shit. That was a nightmare. Pumped Porter. You can set up the Chiral network while I work. At least my claws look better.
Is that in like Nevada? Oh, what does the oxygen mask do for us? Hey, a hermetic grenade too. Now that would be nice. Anyway, as it turns out, Sam Bridges, I have a favor to ask. Don't give a, a shit. Porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it on route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. <sighs> an umbilical cord. Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity. Which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? He <coughs> loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Oh, yay! Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you... You could track it down. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. Wonderful. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of bibiparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed 200 million years old, it would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction. Another one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. We're so close. So very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. This game is insane. Absolutely insane. All right, that being said, folks, I think that is a good stopping spot for tonight. It's about 10 o'clock, and it's past my bedtime. So I'm going to get some sleep. Uh, I'll get these videos uploaded. Hope you guys have a great evening. Thanks for watching. If you like this episode, please slap that like button. Leave a comment in the comment section to let both me and YouTube know that this video is worth watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.